हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संजय गुप्ता इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट प्योर वर्चुअल फंक्शंस यूज्ड इन सी प्लस प्लस बिफोर स्टार्टिंग यू कैन नोट माय इन्फॉर्मेशन व्हिच इंक्लूड माय ऐप बुक्स एंड यूट्यूब चैनल सो कमिंग ऑन टू द टॉपिक व्हिच इज प्योर वर्चुअल फंक्शन एंड एबस्ट्रैक्ट क्लासेस सो फर्स्ट पॉइंट से इज अ प्योर वर्चुअल फंक्शन इज अ वर्चुअल फंक्शन दैट इज डिक्लेयर इन बेस क्लास विद नल बॉडी so we have to declare pure virtual function always in base class it doesn't contain any definition so pure virtual function is required to be implemented by a derived class if that class is not abstract so whenever we declare any pure virtual function in base class then that pure virtual function must be defined by its derived class so third point says classes containing pure virtual functions are termed as abstract classes and we cannot create object of abstract classes so if you implement any of pure virtual function in a particular class then that class will convert into abstract class and you cannot create object of that class uh, the reason is because we don't define uh, definitions of pure virtual functions so if we create object of that class in which pure virtual function is defined then uh, if we call that function then definition will not be available so compiler will not uh, perform any operation last point says a subclass of an uh, abstract class can only be instantiated means its object can be created directly if all pure virtual functions declared in base class have been defined in subclass so if uh, a particular class contains certain pure virtual functions so uh, in derived class you have to define all the definitions if you have uh, done so then you can create object of that derived class so after discussion uh, you can see the syntax of pure virtual function so first you have to use virtual keyword then return type of function then function name then argument list and then equals to 0 so this notation will convert this function declaration to null body means you cannot define uh, this function in Uh, this class so this is the example of pure virtual function name of class is stack uh, two attributes are available data and top and two pure virtual functions are declared first is push and second one is pop so this is base class uh, this base class is uh, declaring two functions so the benefit of pure virtual function is that now you have to only inherit this stack class and you have to define definitions of push and pop function so you don't have to decide name of function you don't have to decide uh, parameter list you don't have to decide return type of the function you just have to inherit this class and you have to implement the definitions of the functions so you can see uh, here uh, stack class is inherited into my stack class and in my stack class you just have to fill these blocks one is for push function and second one is for pop and uh, the prototype of the functions you have to follow which is declared in base class as pure virtual function so friends pure virtual function uh, uh, will be uh, only implemented in base class and if we implement pure virtual function in base class then base class works as a framework for derived classes means you can follow base classes and inside derived class you have to implement all the definitions of pure virtual functions and if we define any pure virtual function in a class then that class will become abstract class so this is all about pure virtual function thank you for watching this video